Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can track text onto your angles or adding text to a map. Nowadays, the camera trackers built in After Effects are actually good enough. You don't need any plugins or third party trackers. You can actually just use the perspective 3D camera tracker right in After Effects. Step one is when you're recording your angles is to make sure they're nice and smooth. You don't want your camera jumping around because it'll be harder to track. And sometimes the track will have issues. And even though you have most of it tracked, the text or whatever you have tracked on there will jump around a bit. So here's our angle here, which is a nice smooth camera angle on Halo 5. We're going to type in track into our effects and presets and we grab the 3D camera tracker. So now it's gonna analyze the background. You'll see in the top corner after it says initializing, it'll switch over to, there we go, switch over to frames and percent, and we're just gonna let it get to 100. All right, it's almost done tracking here, so it's gonna to switch to solving camera. Once the camera's solved, you'll notice these little dots all over the screen, or these little uh, uh, Xs, which are like little camera trackers built in here. And you can see that the default camera tracker here will connect at least three together, showing you a perspective. So if I want something on the wall there, I'll just click there, then it connects these three dots and it would track it all the way through. You can see it'd be something like that. But for us, we're gonna track it in the middle piece here. We're gonna make it a little difficult. So we're gonna have it tracked to the center thing here. I'm gonna go right click and go create null and camera. So now that we have that there, we can click off that. Let's just add some text. What we're gonna do is go to the lines, put it in the center. And now what we're gonna do is actually just leave that one there, go right click, pre-compose, move all attributes to the next comp. So now in this one here, we can alter this text any way we want and it'll always link back to what's here. So I can track this and then if I don't like it, I can uh, change the text in its own composition here. So now our text composition, we're gonna go down to parent and we're gonna track it to that null object. We're gonna turn this 3D. We're gonna hit P to bring up position and turn these all to zero. Zero, zero. And you can see it's tracked directly on that position right there. Now obviously it's rotated funny because we didn't actually want it rotated like that. So I'm gonna bring hold shift, hit R and S so I can bring up my position and scale and rotation all at the same time. Now let's just play with getting the rotate look uh, the way we want it. So we're just gonna bring it up here, which I'm rotating the X axis, something around here. And now when moving and positioning it, don't just grab randomly because it's going to screw up all the tracking. Or it's going to just kind of screw up the space it is on here. So either highlight the Y, the Z, or the X, these little arrows. And once it highlights, then you can drag along that axis and it'll stay there. So now you can see just roughly it's already tracked on here. Like that that's actually already it. Like I didn't do much to it and it's already tracked good or tracked well enough. And it isn't even, like if I had this down more, I could uh, mask that out and then reveal it. Obviously it looks bad being down there. Just grab the Y, move it up, and there it is. And what you could do is then take this whole thing as one composition, like bring it over and then add a camera shake really helps to it. So before we do that, because then it just looks like the camera's live, but before we do that, let's uh, just make this look a little nicer. So I can go into my comp now, and let's say, let's just play around with this. I'm just showing you that you can play with it here, and then when you go back, it'll already be finished on the other one. So just make sure it's in the center, because that's where I had it before. Let's see how to track text. Now let's go back to our other one. There it is, a little small, so we'll just go scale. Sorry, I shouldn't have closed it, but we'll go scale. There it is. You have something like that, so that looks bad. So then I'd go back and play with it again. But basically, just play with it till you're happy. What's nice about also having it in a, its own comp like that is you can add effects or different, like say you want the text to write itself or you want um, it to fade in or glitch in or something. You can do that all within the comp and it doesn't mess up this here, because it'll still just be placed on there. So I'll do an example of that really quick. Uh, bring down animation. We're just gonna do a quick example here. Let's go offset, add property opacity. I yelled that into the mic, I'm sorry. Let's turn that to zero. At the start, hit have it zero. And then let's bring it uh, one second and have the start go to 100. So then it should like type itself out here. Just, just add some animation to it. Oh, my thing's gonna crash for sure. Oh, oh, it didn't crash, okay. Well, you guys know Adobe. I just assumed that was gonna crash. But see, just adding a little bit of animation really makes it look better. And also using different types of text will help, like how I have a, a thin one here, then a thick one there, and using different colors. All that will just improve it rather than just having straight tracked text on there, because that can be boring. So another nice thing to do is we can bring that composition, oh, there we go, into its own composition. It's a little much, I know. Should have pre-composed it earlier. 
now that we have that here, we could uh, just add a camera shake and camera movement, uh, camera blur, all the stuff I kind of showed you in other tutorials if you want to look into the videos I've made, specific videos on these. But just as an example, you can make it look uh, more realistic like it's tracked on there by adding wiggle position on top, then wiggle rotation, and just make it simpler by wiggle position 20, wiggle rotation, speed, let's go 0.5, and amount, let's go 5. But remember when you add your wiggles, you have to scale it up a bit. But now you can see, it just looks like it's really tracked in there, like you're showing how the camera moves. It's, it's a bit much, but that's an example of what you can do. So tracking text, super easy, as long as you have a good camera beforehand, as in like you recorded a nice smooth transition, or sorry, nice smooth uh, angle. Then after that, really default After Effects camera tracker just carries this, it's so easy. And then again, to add more life into it, add animation to the text. Um, change up the different fonts and how they interact, maybe have a glow. Overall, easy, but you can really uh, make it come to life and look beautiful. All right, guys, hopefully this has been helpful. Again, it's super easy, but really how much you stylize and put effort into the text itself will bring it to life and look better. Then, of course, adding uh, camera movement, camera shake, stuff like that will really, uh, will really look more realistic and add to it. Please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out. Helps out with that YouTube algorithm. Shows them that uh, I'm making good content. And uh, I have two videos coming out a week. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I'll have more tutorials for you guys. So thanks and take care. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more filmmaking techniques and how you can utilize them in your video game montages.